All right, so what to take first. Typically what we want to do is look at taxable accounts first, right? So those are your savings and any individual or brokerage accounts, right? And that's, again, that's me telling you before, some people say my savings is my baby, right? Like I, I accumulated $100,000, it's in my savings account. I love seeing it there, it just makes, gives me the warm fuzzies. But think about this, that money has already been taxed. So when you spend it, you're not gonna have to pay any income tax on it, right? Now if it's grown, it's got appreciation, you'll pay capital gains tax, but capital gains tax is a favorable tax rate. It's only 15% for most people. So when you use that money, you're not even paying taxes. You have all this money there. In and in kind of at the same time, you've got these tax deferred or tax exempt accounts that are growing tax free. And typically, as you progress through your retirement, your income is kind of dwindling down. You're not needing to spend as much as you get older. Um, you know, you, you don't have the kind of the same obligations that you used to. And so you're spending less, your income tax rate is going down. So you wanna use those taxable accounts first because all that money's already been, already been taxed. So use that money first. I know that means giving away your baby, but realize you now have access to your IRA. You now have access to your 401k when you retire. So you can use that money and it's not a penalty. So think about your baby is still there, it's just in a different account, right? That's, that, that's kinda hard for people to grasp. But if you, write, if you like paying taxes, right, which no one does, then go ahead and spend the IRA first, right? So we want to make sure that you're mitigating that tax bill or delaying it, kicking it down the can, kicking the can down the road.